So buzzing and humming in pinball machines really upset some people, right? Personally, it doesn't bother me that much, but this one's loud as hell. You can hear it all the way across the room. Right? And so it's probably some kind of ground problem. We've worked on it. I've researched it. There's about 15 different things you can try to try to fix it. Or you can get a new board and it shouldn't do it with the new board. So that's what we're going to try to do. And that was his idea. I'm not saying that, you know, I didn't pitch him on that. That's that's what he wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do. This is the original sound board. You see the new capacitors there where we worked on it last time. Very hard to get these things quiet. So we'll see if this new board gets quiet. Um, so that board works perfect. We're going to pull that out, except for the, the buzzing. We're going to pull that out and he'll keep that. Hang on to it. That's one of the reasons I'll bet that he has it turned down a little bit because the buzzing's killing him. Uh, we're going to keep that and um, put it with, like, he's got a display that he swapped out and some stuff like that that he can hang on to. The power supply has been swapped. And now the sounds board's going to get swapped. So this is what we're working with. All right, folks. So there are only two uh, soundboard, new replacement soundboards for Hook. In all the world, there are only two that you can replace the original one with. And I went ahead and researched it again, and look, that buzzing is in every one of those freaking Data East. They make a little adapter that adds more capacitors in and stuff like that to try to filter out some of that noise, which is on like the 12-volt line. But it doesn't get rid of all of it, and the customer specifically wants the new boards. That's what we're going to do. Okay, So there's, there's two choices, both made by Pensound. Um, one is the Pensound Neo, which was actually their latest board, and then one was the, is the Pensound Plus. So the Neo is a little cheaper than the Pensound Plus, but it's. It, I'll show you the differences here. If it was my machine, I might get the Neo, but it, you don't really save much money, and the Plus has some cool stuff that might you know be beneficial. So. Um, they also sell a lot of speakers and stuff. And by the way, I have no affiliation with these people. I have never talked to any of these people. They are not giving me a discount or anything like that. We're just going to review their board. Um, so here are the two different boards. This is the Neo. And this is the Plus. They both will work in this. The Plus has RCA out jacks. And it also... Um, will work with mono so you can plug in the speakers as they are originally configured but the most the most uh, uh, useful thing in my opinion is they have all of these potentiometers here where you can adjust the booster the sub booster um, EQ sub bass EQ bass EQ medium EQ treble so basically you can tune in exactly how the thing sounds so if it sounds too tinny you can mess with that blah 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 I think that'll be useful. Another thing that will help us is it mounts directly to the original spot with these mounts. This other one doesn't. You have to, you know, try to rig it up or use some kind of little feet. So this one's a little more than that one. It's kind of expensive, but it's it's not. This one's really expensive too. So this one's expensive. This one's expensive plus <laughs> pen sound plus. Um, but for the price difference, it's kind of worth it to be able to individually adjust all of the EQ on the sounds. So I think that's the one that we're going to go with. So here is the little chart. Okay. So the Pen Sound Plus can do stereo and mono. The cabinet, I believe, is originally wired mono. I may be wrong about that. But that's one of the differences. It says uh, universal soundboard that works for 100 plus machines. Enhanced high quality sounds. Five minute installation, load multiple sound packs, right, left, center, class D amplifiers, headphone station compatible, motion control shaker compatible, uh, auto mute, uh, headphones connected, original mono out. Um, I don't, like I said, that, that I don't, it looks like that's not even a thing with the data east. Ease of machine swap, uh, extra mounting feeder required for the Neo. Adjustment knobs, subwoofer, booster, and headphone gain. We got that. Dual audio, simultaneous headphones and speakers. So if you plug in some headphones, you can still listen to the speakers on the Plus. 
optimized for factory speakers, whatever. RCA line out for external amplified subwoofer. Might be a good idea. You could put a sub in it and since you've got those RCA line outs. And then this is one of the reasons I'm going to get it. Extra capacitors, shielded inductors, cooling heat sinks, voltage LEDs. I like the extra capacitor shielded inductors part. <laughs> We've got some hum going on here, people, and I want to make sure it's all gone. So extra capacitors sounds good. Let's capacitate the hell out of it and get rid of the buzzing. Uh, and then this EQ, I think, is pretty good. And then plus, you get a lifetime warranty with it instead of a two-year warranty with it. Right? So you can go with this one, but this one... I think is, is probably just a better deal. Now, as you see, if I click on it, it says, we'll be back soon. We are currently updating our shop and we'll be back really soon. Thank you for your patience. So you can't buy it right now, but I think you could buy it yesterday, but I have a solution for that. You can still get them at the pinballwizard.net. Now you can get them from pin sound as well. Probably tomorrow. They're probably just working on the site tonight. Um, or maybe just a couple hours here. Um, so it's, there's not a problem ordering it from them, but one of the issues is they're in, uh, I believe they're in France. It's going to take a little time to get it stateside. I've heard they ship really quick though, but this place, the pinball wizard is here selling their products, kind of distributing them in the United States and the prices are the same. So the difference in price is the, the pin sound plus is $400. The pin sound Neo is $330. So you save 70 bucks, but you don't get the EQ. And I don't know what the additional capacitors do. So we're going to go with this one. I, I looked online, and of course everybody you see goes, oh, get the expensive one, because <laughs> it's not their money. You know how people like to spend a lot of money on pinball machines. But I think in this instance, there's just not enough difference in the price. If this one was, you know, this is expensive to me. And this is just a little bit more and you get a bunch more crap. So if you're going to do it, you might as well get this one. That's how I see it. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to order it from the pinballwizard.net. We'll get it in and then we'll set it up and see how it sounds. Uh, I'll play a little bit of the original one and then we'll swap it out and see if the new one sounds the same. Uh, one of the issues is that you can change. You know, The reason that you get that is you can change the call outs, you can change the music and all of that. But here's the problem I have with that. The call-outs are really good, and the music's really good. So I'll talk with, I guess I could get a hold of the customer and see if he wants me to change it out, but I don't know about updating the music on that particular game. It's really good. Okay, folks, so like two days passed or something. It was real quick. It's unbelievably quick. And from Salt Lake City, the pinball wizard himself, Mr. Sean Jackson, has sent us... Hopefully, this soundboard. I haven't looked in it yet. Every time I think of Salt Lake City, I think of the Beach Boys song, Salt Lake City. Have you heard that? It's unbelievable. Um, okay. We got some peanuts. I'm just going to dump it all out. Good Lord, he packs it well, people. Wait a minute. Please handle with care. For Gile, do not drop. And then I just... I didn't really drop it, Sean. It just it just barely came out. Okay, there's a whole bunch more peanuts in there. Well, that's, that's good. You get your money's worth of peanuts. So I ordered the little uh, flash drive. We're going to leave this with the thing. And... Um, I... Okay, and so there's a little receipt and the board. So let me get rid of all these peanuts. We don't need a static situation. I know these are the pink ones, but I'm trying to be careful here. Got the nice box. Even has the nice foam. This is high tech, people. This is some nice stuff. It has a quality check. You know why they do that? They're checking to see if the quality... There's the French version, I believe. Set apparel. I et de verify 
Minucci Amusement Avant Expedition. So I'm going to guess that says apparel, set apparel. You know, I was doing this on one video, and this guy complained that I did it too slow. Folks, the joy of it is taking the damn your time doing something. Come on now. Yeah, I could go run in the other room and put it in the machine, or you could just fast forward if you don't like this stuff. <sighs> Where was I? <laughs> Set apparel. Appear. Apparel. Saying, look. Set. Looked at, I'm going to guess, looked at a ette and uh, and we verify. What could that mean? Minutia usement avant expedition. They're saying we looked at it and we made sure, baby, every little thing was with it before we shipped it. <laughs> this device has been carefully checked before dispatch. Just what I said. Merci de suivre. That means thank you. No, it says please of suivre. Suivre. Merci de suivre. Please Suvra, what would that be? Attentive meant lay instructions de montage and pictures. Uh, uh, de montage, that probably means manual. It's like we say it's a inst an instruction manual. They're, they probably call it an instructions de montage. It says, please pay attention to the instruction manual. Please make sure to read or watch instructions before installation. Okay. Many thanks for your support. Crank it up. Nicholas and Timothy. Now, I believe this is German, like I mentioned. Oh, wow, I got German candy. Very cool. Boy, the customer's going to be mad. I took, I'm going to eat his candy. He paid $420 and then I ate the candy. Okay, so here are the uh, mounting things that I was talking about. I didn't realize they weren't part of the board, but that's still cool. Not used. Hmm. Oh, okay, on Valley they're not used. Okay, we'll open that up. Enhance your machine, start a new game. Pin sound apron card. That's kind of cool. And then here it comes. Boy, it feels expensive. Look at these guys. Living the dream. Designing pinball boards and then silk screen in their face on it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Stereo speakers, connector four on data east. That's where you connect. The, okay, I see how they did it. That's where you would connect the WPC 89 speakers. System 11 speakers. Or the WPC95 speakers. Interesting. Connector 3 for Data East for the coin box volume control. WPC89 or WPCDCS. This is interesting. The Data East Power or System 11 Power. The reason they're putting it like that, the Data East system is very similar to, well, I got that wrong. The Data East, it's similar to the Stern system. Data East became Sega, became Stern. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like you just need to plug in two or three plugs. You've got some test things, and then we have our sub booster, EQ bass, EQ mid bass, EQ medium, EQ treble. All right, so this is where we put the flash drive. This is where you can plug in headphones. Headphone booster. And this is where our ribbon cable goes if it's data east. And apparently it'll even work on a Gottlieb game, System 3 maybe. Alright, well, let me look in the manual real quick. The candy's pretty good. It doesn't taste like any candy I've ever had in the United States. So first, turn off your pinball machine. Second, take out the soundboard. Three, prepare the new one by attaching these little legs. Let's see if I can get those on there. Alright, so first, I would like to apologize to the French for calling them Germans. And I would also like to apologize to the Germans for calling them French. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, so I put the little things on it. So we're up to here. We're up to number four already, except for I uh, skipped three. Or two. Uh, number five... Put it in. Number six, connect. So one, two, three, we should have four connections. All right, so um, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put it in there. I've got video of the sound already where we went through whenever we were testing it. I'll show you that, but I'm going to go out there. We'll swap it in the game real quick, and then I'll show you the video of the sound. All right, so with the legs on it, it did fit exactly where it goes. And then all of the connectors had a spot. So I had to be very careful. This is the original board. And there were four connectors on it, just like it's telling me on this. And um, they all had a keyed place that they can plug in. Now it looks like it would be possible to plug, if you just went crazy with it, something in the wrong place. But, you know. Now on this uh, soundboard, it shows you where the stripe uh, plugs in. Red wire on the ribbon cable, right? So uh, I think we're ready to turn it on. Boy, I hope it doesn't smoke a $400 soundboard when I turn it on. Please don't let it smoke a $400 soundboard when I turn it on. Now, I don't have the code in it, so it might not do anything, or it might make some kind of boo 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 sound. Well, there's no hum. He's going like that. The USB flash drive is not present. The USB flash drive is not present. That's true. Okay, so we got to go try to get the sound uh, doing its thing, doing the flash drive. All right, so here are the instructions. Uh, load your USB flash drive, turn off the pinball machine, select your machine on blah, blah, blah. Down your, load your sound package in a zip file. Copy the zip file onto the root of the flash drive. Plug the USB flash drive into the pin sound board. Turn on the machine, wait for the process to finish. Seems very simple. Uh, and then I believe you just leave the flash drive in there because it. you heard it a second ago say there's USB drive not found or something. So maybe it wants it to stay in there, which is fine. Um, so I have downloaded it and I have put it on the card. I was going to just make it the original sounds, but they updated it. It sounds like with the stuff from the movie instead of the stuff from that they created for the pinball machine. So it's got more of the, uh, the actual characters from the movie and it's got more call outs and stuff. And the music it sounds like is, um, 
the score from the movie instead of the score that they made from the for the pinball machine. So I don't know. So we're going to do the, the updated one, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So we'll see how long this takes. If I can do this one-handed. You know, folks, I'd get so much more done if I didn't have to hold a camera. And I know I could use a tripod, but it's not as fun. Okay, it's in there like swimwear. Okay, let's see if it does anything. It's going to be the flash codes, basically, on the soundboard is all we're going to be able to tell. The display is not going to tell us anything. It's very quiet. And this the volume control down here isn't doing anything. I wonder if there's another one that they I wonder if they changed the volume control or something. So we gotta figure that out. Or it could be on well, data east that's how it's controlled. I wonder if until you have the I wonder if until you have the Data East files loaded on it, if it doesn't know to look for that. It plugs in that connection right there. I don't know. We'll see how long this takes. Yeah, it's much louder now. Uh, that's I, I think I guessed it just right. So I'm going to turn it off and back on. I think I think basically, since it's a universal board, it didn't know to pay attention to that sound pot being turned being plugged in. So while it's since it didn't have the code loaded on it, it had no clue that we had it in a Data East machine. How would it? So then once it loaded the sound files, it said, "Oh, this is a Data East. There must be some kind of little configuration file in there." And then it said, "Run the sound through the." Volume pot. We'll confirm. Once it boots. I hate. I, yes. I hate Peter Pan. <laughs> That's my favorite part. But now instead of the I hate, I hate, I hate, it's the it's the actual sound sample from the movie. So I'm going to let it run a few minutes, make sure everything seems cool, and then we'll play it. Let me go ahead and show you the video that we did before of the how the sound used to sound on the original soundboard. Left speaker. Both speakers. Right speaker. Voice Ron. I hate, I hate, I hate. Okay. Voice ROM 2. What great game! <laughs> Here's the test. Hopefully, it won't lock on. Okay, folks, we had some people come in, so let's try music two. Ah, uh, it must be the Peter Pan theme. This wasn't working before. Nice integration with the theme, you know. Okay. Music three. Cool 
as that. Music four. folks so I have went I went in and I turned up the bass just a little bit because there's a uh, sub in the bottom not a not a sub but there's a, a bigger speaker in the bottom so I turned up the bass a little bit seemed to make it a little punchier and it sounds good it doesn't have any kind of the crackling or anything that we were having before the buzz is gone looks great too but that has nothing to do with the soundboard but you get my point so I can't do a direct comparison because when you go into the test menu since the file names are a little different it doesn't whenever you do the test it only tests a couple of the songs I hate I hate I hate Peter Pan <laughs> so but we can play it a little bit and you can just see if you think it sounds better how did you ever manage to fit into those smashing Again, Peter. You pot. Don't try to stop me. Oh, I've lost my marbles. I've lost my marbles. hit anything. I got it. Nah. Didn't get the second one though. Oh. A little multi ball action. You promised people the war of the century. You're right, one. I've either lost a ball or locked a ball. I guess I locked it. 
Now I lost it. Oh. All right, so here's the best music is at the end. Have I ever made a promise? What would the world be like without Captain Hook? Hook. Captain Hook. Now there is one rule I insist be obeyed. No growing up. Stop. This very instant. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a lot better than the original soundboard. In my opinion. When, when we ordered it... You know, earlier in the video, I was saying that I didn't want to change the the sound, the music because they're so good on the original game, and they are. But it sounds like what they've done is just taken the official audio from the movie, maybe the score, and uh, just it's it's just higher quality music. That's my guess, at least. Not quite. Last ball. Second star on the right, straight on till morning. It's hiding up there. Oh. <laughs> He's decided to cancel the war. Have he... I ever made a promise? He canceled my game. What action of the soundboard is you can, it's got the EQ, and then also you can change all of the callouts. You can edit the file really easily. Uh, and they actually encourage it and help you do it on the forum and all of that stuff. So, like, if there's one of those call-outs that you don't like and you want to change it to something else, no problem. So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I give this Pen Sound Plus soundboard an A+. Plus. I gave it a 10. Now, you just so you know about me, if I didn't like it, I would never tell you. <laughs> but I like positivity, folks, but I'm serious about this. This is a good one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it. So we'll see you on the next video.